Hi, Dave with Align Therapy here. We're going to talk today about how to identify scoliosis and how to identify a specific type of scoliosis. The majority of scoliosis curves, Alex here is my, my model for today, um, the majority of scoliosis curves go to the right in the thoracic spine and then to the left in the lumbar spine. That's the majority of them, but not all of them. So Alex has an opposite curve. She has a curve that goes to the left up top and then to the right down at the bottom. Uh, through, through the years, her curve has kind of changed a little bit, but, um, but it still is set as we call it a, a backwards curve. Or her curve looks like an S if you're looking at it from the back instead of a backwards S like most curves. So to identify this, if you look at it from straight from the back, we can notice there's a little bit more of a, an angle in her waistline on the left than on the right. And that just shows that her pelvis is shifted a little bit to the left and her trunk is shifted a little bit to the right. And that's because of that, that lumbar curve that shifts her pelvis to the left. Alex doesn't have a huge pelvic shift right now. Um, before we did see more of that, but, but now we're not seeing a ton. So now Alex, go ahead and bend forward. This is how we pick up on scoliosis. You look uh, along the back and you look to see if one side is higher than the other. So here on the thoracic spine, we see right here is higher than the right side. That means that the curve is going to the left and then down in the lumbar spine, which she actually isn't showing with this, with a right-sided curve, we would see the right side is, is rotated back and the left side is forward. So go ahead and come back up here, Alex. So even though she has a left thoracic, right lumbar, we're not seeing as much rotation in the lumbar, which is, is pretty interesting. So um, when you're identifying scoliosis or screening for scoliosis, be aware that we can have curves on both sides. If you look at Alex's shoulder blades, you can see that her shoulder blades are just a little bit different. This shoulder blade sticks out a little bit more, and this shoulder blade sits against her ribs a little bit more. That's an indication that this left side is rotated back, this right side is rotated forward, which means we have a curve that goes to the left. Her lumbar spine looks pretty dang symmetrical now, which is, which is awesome. So keep in mind when you are seeing scoliosis curves, that the majority of them are right thoracic, left lumbar, or just left lumbar, uh, but there are those that are a left-sided curve. If you see a left-sided curve, uh, a left-sided thoracic curve, a lot of times they'll do imaging on those to make sure that they're not coming from something else, something like a neurological cause or something like that. So, Alex, I don't know if you ever had any imaging for that. She has a pretty mild curve, so that probably wasn't a big concern. And she's out of the woods with growth, and we don't have to worry about this curve progressing, so that's awesome. So hopefully that was helpful to see screening-wise what we're looking at for those curves that we don't see very often. And thanks, Alex, for helping us.